Woke up this morning thinking I'm about those summer days. Best friend got caught up when I stayed in Douglasville. I'm a cousin drama and I want to leave a better blue. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. So today, 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 we're going to ask, why is hip-hop, well, why doesn't hip-hop respect Lil Nas X? Let's get into it. With that being said, be sure to like and subscribe. Let's get into the video. And y'all tell me why do y'all feel like hip-hop doesn't respect the LGBT community? as they should, and should they respect it? Let me know in the description below. Well, Gay let me know in the comments below, yeah. Rappers are now a thing. They're no longer in the closet. They are They are big stars. They are, they are, the whole world knows they're gay. They're okay with it. In fact, they even get bigger a lot of times when they, when they admit that they're gay. You Lil Nas X is nothing but a gay 6 9 there's no judgment here Honestly, when it comes to what you bit. prefer. Just a little bit. But it's only to disguise the fact that since Old Town Road, I don't know another f song. Once I saw him just trying to troll it up, I'm like, oh, you couldn't find the record. Lil Nas X breakaway song was a parody. Like when I'm talking <laughs> about this, I'm so serious. This dude mm -hmm. is trolling, bro. Like, I, I, hey, bro, I'm not with Lil Nas X. I'm not saying, hey, bro. Ever since he arrived on the scene, the career of Montero Hill, better known as Lil Nas X, has been deeply intertwined with controversy. Beginning his career by combining the worlds of country and rap, Lil Nas X's Old Town Road led some, if not most, to believe that he'd be another one-hit wonder. But through a combination of social media trolling, his tendency to diversify his sound, and just sheer stubbornness, Lil Nas X has strong-armed his way into the world of hip-hop and pop alike. Currently the owner of the longest streak at the number one spot in Billboard history, Lil Nas X is the polar opposite of what hip-hop is accustomed to, but starkly similar in others, where some of the generation's most popular rappers spent their youth either on the corner selling dope or in and out of prison, Montero spent his youth as the brains behind the Nicki Minaj stan account, Nas Mirage. From sleeping on his sister's floor with no money to performing around the world, this is somewhat familiar in hip-hop and a story most people can empathize with. But in Lil Nas's case, it appears that being honest about his sexuality is leading to hate, in turn, leaving him without the praise or credit that he might deserve. Honestly, I don't feel as respected in hip hop or many music places in general, Lil Nas told XXL. But these are communities that I'm a part of, whether people would like it or not. I'm a rapper, I'm a pop star, I'm a gay artist, but it's like, I don't belong in these places. Left fighting for acceptance even as his success rolls in, the marginalization of Lil Nas X really started when he told the world he was gay. On the last day of Pride Month 2019, Lil Nas X came out on Twitter, and in doing so, completely predicted the backlash from some of hip hop. Some of y'all already know, some of y'all don't care, some of y'all not gonna f with me anymore. Sure enough, people who'd either supported him from the sidelines or paid him no mind were now going out of their way to voice their dislike for him. And if you were looking for the exact moment when the tide turned, look no further than the visuals from Montero, Call Me By Your Name. Complete with everything from a satanic lap dance to phallic-headed aliens and sexually charged lyrics, the rise of Lil Nas as an outwardly bold LGBT icon challenged taboos in hip-hop and, more broadly, sparked a bunch of conversation. Everyone from Jordan Lucas to Sada Baby have expressed their distaste for Lil Nas post-Old Town Road transformation, with the latter even wishing death on him by stating, Lord, we said Nas X, not DMX. But for some, including Boozy Badass, Lil Nas's choice to explore his sexuality was enough to start a full-on campaign against him. No, he's trolling, like you know. But it, it's what the it's what the world is accepting. You know, they they're accepting it because like you taking you taking girls Instagram for showing they, but you won't take. But you can let a man be pregnant. You can let a man be pregnant, and it's cool with all these young boys watching. You can let a man be pregnant on social media. Y'all better wake up. I'm woke. Given the viral moments that he created with its video and blood-filled Nike controversy, there were others who understandably questioned his purpose in music. You Lil Nas X is nothing but a gay 6 9 There's no judgment here when it comes to- I can agree with that, but to a degree, but it's a small It's degree, only to disguise the that, fact but... that since Old Town Road, I don't know another f song. Once I saw him just trying to troll it up, I'm like, oh, you couldn't find the record. Lil Nas X breakaway song was a parody. 
clown for both his braveness and the idea that he was cynically capitalizing on his lifestyle, this is most likely where the disrespect began. After all, these feelings of exclusion are a far cry from what happened when he initially emerged on the scene. When he was thrown off the country charts after Old Town Road was deemed not to meet its criteria, hip-hop banded together for him. When it came time for the array of remixes and his following singles, A-list artists rushed to work with him including Young Thug, Cardi B, and even his namesake, Nas. As fate would have it, Montero has gone on record to say that, rather than discouraging him, it was Old Town Road and the cultural cloud it provided that compelled him to come out in the first place. I honestly felt like it was kind of my duty, he told XXL, especially if I wanted to move forward and with what I was doing because authenticity is very real and I feel like people can see right through that and that's a part of me. I used to like comments where people were like, oh, I like him because he's not all in your face about it. And then I realized what that was. It's kind of like when people say, oh, well, I have a black friend and that kind of sits on everything that have to do with their black history and culture and whatnot. I'm kind of like, I'm not that person, you know? Left to contend with the idea that he's somehow bad for society, this logic doesn't really hold much weight under scrutiny and in fact, leaves some looking as outdated as everyone that attempted to censor hip hop in the 1990s. Who's he rapping been talking about women forever? I saw you say that, you know, you feel like he was uh, is a negative influence. Why are you acting like rappers haven't been negative influences for years? Or as Lil Nas X put it himself, y'all be silent as hell when people dedicate their entire music catalog to rapping about sleeping with multiple women. But when I do anything remotely sexual, I'm being sexually irresponsible. Y'all hate gay people and don't hide it. Often seen as a master troll, Lil Nas may present himself as though he has thick skin. But as he told The Breakfast Club, that isn't the case when he's away from the limelight. And what's more, he feels that he can't back down. Well, when people go at you, you handle it really well, which is surprising because most artists, they can't handle it. You see them break down, you see them get into problems, you see them I definitely do break down sometimes. I'm mm. not going to lie, but I'm never going to do that sh publicly <laughs> and i feel like anybody that's pissed off are the exact people that need to be pissed off mm -hmm. you know now seen as the leader of a new wave Lil Nas X isn't exactly the first gay artist in hip-hop as Big Frida, Cake Sakilla, and Mickey Blanca were all flying that rainbow-colored flag long before X however it's Lil Nas's success that has made his place in the culture an awkward one the honest truth is i don't want to speak on a lot of the homophobia within rap because i feel like this is a very dangerous it playing is. field he informed variety it's more for my own safety rather than anything else in spite of the adversity he faces it's definitely not the entirety of hip-hop that feels this way there's now a new breed of artists who proudly stand shoulder to shoulder with lil nas x speaking of variety shortly after he donned the pink inmate uniform and joined him in montero's prison for industry baby kentucky's jack harlow spoke of why he felt it was important to collab with lil nas I think he's given a voice to a lot of people and kids who could use one. I think the community he represents could use someone who's succeeding on a mainstream level. It doesn't have to be a niche thing. It can feel like, yo, you can be number one, you can be the greatest. I really recognize what he's doing, and I think he gets a lot deeper than the jokes and whatever gimmicky stuff people want to associate. I really think he's an icon. I really recognize what he's doing, and I admire. I admired him long before we met. I take counsel from a lot of people. And there were a few who I trust who had their own reservations just out of nervousness and I don't know if you should do this. But honestly, I was never hesitant. I just felt like it was important and a great opportunity and something that in 10 years, I'm gonna look back on and be very proud of. Simply put, the trailblazers in music and culture are always the ones that take flack and Lil Nas X is no exception. When you dare to be different and reap the rewards while doing so, it can lead to ruffled feathers. Some of y'all not even mad I'm gay, he tweeted in July 2021. Some of y'all mad that I'm gay and still succeeding. True. Beloved by some and revived by others, Lil Nas X easily ranks among the most divisive figures in hip hop today. And with an acclaimed debut album under his belt, Lil Nas X continues to excel despite the backlash. But if he keeps going in this trajectory and loses the gimmicks and trolling, he'll likely be looked back upon as an icon, as what he represents can't be understated. So despite their best efforts, you see, when it comes to Lil Nas X and 6 9 like this trolling stuff he did before, yes, that reminds me of 6 9 But nowadays, it's like, as a, like, from a parent's point of view, it's like, I don't want my kids watching this because they're going to end up being messed up or they're going to end up being, like, confused. And I don't want my kids thinking about sex and gar regardless of what they like. But... From my point of view, is like, if you're a parent, you should already dictate what your kids watch or not. Because I know once I become a parent, my kids ain't going to be watching everything online. Because that's how you get messed up in general. You can't go to the dark web on YouTube. You know, not with the dark side of YouTube. You can't do all that stuff. Because you're going to leave messed up and asking a lot of questions. Because you're too young to be watching certain things. It happens. You might end up going across something. You might get caught by your parents. And you might be curious. It's okay. I feel like... He is giving a voice to kids. Well, 
Let me not say kids. He is giving a voice to teenagers around like 15, 16, 17, even older. Because I feel like under the age of 15, like you know, but you don't fully know into like that mid teenage years. You know what I'm saying? 14, 15, and 16, you start knowing what you want. And at that age, I feel like you should ask your parents, like, hey, mom, dad, or dad, dad, or mom, mom, uh, or non binary. Um, I like this. And I want to date this. And I'm just letting y'all know, because, you know, not me. I was one of those kids where it's like, I let my parents know what I like. Hey, mom, dad, I like girls. And I want to date this girl at that age. Can I date her? You know, because you, you're a kid. You can't just go out there and do whatever you, well, you can. But that's how problems get made, you know. But I'm just glad we have certain artists nowadays where they break norm, norms. Because in hip-hop, it's so homophobic. Like, they have... They'll get mad at Lil Nas X, right? But they wouldn't get mad at a Cardi B. Or they wouldn't get mad at, like, a young thug or, like, Future saying she belongs to the streets and shit. Like, that's the hypocrisy of hip-hop. Like, they, they pick what they want to get mad at. Lil Bootsy, not gonna lie to you, he literally let his sons get molested by an older lady. He admitted to it. His sons got their dicks up by an older stripper or some shit. And that's not weird. But listening to Lil Nas X, because he has an influence on your kids, because I guess you're not around your kids like that. Or even if you are around your kids, you can't control every single thing they watch. But that should be the parent side of you saying, hey, I raised my kids to a degree where they should be able to think for themselves. And if they can't, they're going to have to learn how to think for themselves. Because you can't do everything as a parent. You just can't. That's not how the world is. You only do so much for your kids. So... I feel like he should be respected. But in the same side, same light, he should be. I feel like another thing is Lil Nas X said fuck them kids and he ain't for kids. But he came out popular because of kids. Because kids was literally playing his song like old time. Like li literally like on um, Baby Shark. That's what kids was listening to that one summer like a while ago. And every kid was listening to that song. It was everywhere in every little elementary, every middle school. They was listening to that song. And it's like, it's weird. It's like one of those things where it's hard to explain. Because one side of you is like, yes, I get what he's saying. But another side side is saying, well, you came out for kids. And now you're trying to switch your whole image up. That's very hard to do. Especially once you become in certain communities. Because parents look at these communities. Because a lot of kids and a lot of parents in this country is a lot more christian and a lot more religious a lot of places so lgbt stuff is looked down upon so it's like oh my god da, da, da. i'm like well everybody has the right how they gonna believe but i feel like people don't know how to think for themselves and once you reach your teenage years that's the crucial time for you to think for yourself because if you can't think for yourself then it's gonna be a lot harder for you when you go you're a fucking adult in college or when you're an adult working in the real world. Because in the real world, you have to think for yourself. Even people in the real world can't even think for themselves. Lil Nas X is respected to me. He broke records. He's a quote-unquote low-key a legend to a degree. Because he broke records that he's been on a, a hundred chart for how, for a long-ass time. For a bit now. But he broke like numbers records. Like he made... I don't know how platinum or diamond his his thing got, but it was like something up there. He he broke some records, and I'm proud to see a black dude in general do that. I don't care what your sexuality is. And at the end of the day, people what I found out, people that um like dudes, I end up seeing that's always hell bent on. Oh my god, this dude's gay. Oh my god, this dude's this. Oh my god, this dude is that. Turns out they be down low themselves, and I'm not trying to be like. I'm not trying to say that in a negative way. Cause I know I got a lot of older people watching my channel. And a lot of older people are like, oh my God, I can't believe you support Lil Nas X. I never said I fully support him. I just see where he's coming from. And then his music is kind of, is, is good. Not going to lie to you. But he is, he is giving a voice to the voiceless. And that's what I represent. Because it is kids that know what they want when they little. It is. I talk to kids that knew they like girls since they was little kids. And they're around my age now, 19. I seen it. 
I've seen it. And some people know. Some people just know. It might be weird when they was young, but older they get and they still saying that, you just have to accept them for them. And that's what I did. And I'm fine with it. It doesn't, like, what, what um, J. Cole say, what you eat don't make me, what you eat don't make me shit, what you fuck don't make me come. He didn't say it first, but I heard it from one of his songs. You shouldn't care what someone else do with their body. Like, if it's sexuality, just let them be happy. If they like it, I love it, you know? And who even thinking about what you got to say? All the people that's mad. I just I just feel like people hate on Lil Nas X because he's a black gay dude. I don't like that. It's like, like, it's hard being black. Hard being gay and black. And I feel like some people feel like he's pushing an agenda. Us, uh, like, being a, a gay black man is cool. And as a black man, I should want to be gay as well. But I don't feel like he's doing that. I feel like he's just saying it's okay to be gay and be part of the community and still love your people and still do whatever you want to do with your life because you're still a human. Plus, you're a black dude. So that means regardless of what your sexuality is, you will still get shot by the police, still get killed by the police. And at the end of the day, love is love, man. At the end of the day, love is love. But shout out to Lil Nas X. Make your money. Stack your bread. He paved the way for hip-hop to a degree. We got other rappers long before him that paved the way. But they walk so he could, so he could run. You know what I'm saying? Well, they crawl so he could run. But still, they still, all these LGBT people are still, a lot of them are legends. At least to me, they are. I don't know everybody off the top of my head, but I know some people. But, yeah, I just want y'all to know it's okay to be who you are, regardless of what you like or what you're into. It's okay. You shouldn't be mad. You shouldn't be ashamed. And if you are, get counseling. Get therapy. Before you even start dating, if you feel like you don't love yourself, like, like if you have, like, suicidal thoughts, if you have, like, very bad thoughts about yourself, of negative thoughts about yourself, try to find some help, regardless of your sexuality. Because it's going to hurt you a lot more in a relationship, especially if you really end up getting attached to someone and they break your heart. One of my friends got hooked on drugs because of that. Because he didn't understand how to let that person go. He said, man, I don't care. I love him. I love him. I'm like, hey, bro, you could love him all day, but if man don't want to fuck with you, don't want to fuck with you. It's okay. It's okay. He said, man, fuck that. And he started smoking. Things started popping pills. And sad, but, you know, stuff happens, you know. But, yeah. Yeah. So, that being said, y'all be sure to like and subscribe. Love who y'all love. If y'all going through anything, like I said, get help. If y'all feel suicidal, call the suicidal hotline. Talk to your parents. If you can't talk to your parents, find someone close to you that you could talk to. Always have someone you could talk to. Always. Even if you feel like you can't, find someone. Do what you got to do. That being said, take care. Stay tuned to the next video. If I offend anyone, my apologies. I just told y'all how I felt. In this day and age, I feel like everyone should tell each other how they feel. Listen, take what you can from this video, and keep it moving. Peace. Are you the poet?